Hello YouTube, it is Chris here and in today's episode we are going to be testing the Tactical Bush Sword by Helm Forge Enterprises, so stick with me. Welcome back everybody and thank you for sticking with me. Like a lot of you guys saw last week, we actually showed the forging and making process for this tactical bush sword by Helm Forge, my buddy James, down here just south of San Antonio. And that video was absolutely amazing. It was a complete joy to watch it and a little sneak peek surprise for you guys. The maker is actually here during the filming process with my buddy Alan from Cutthroat Custom Knives. They're uh, basically kind of seeing where we're going to be discussing some new projects and whatnot. Now, I can give you guys a slightly closer look, and we'll do some outdoor um, footage of the testing while I'm discussing this, but it's got a nice forged finish to it. And just as in the actual making video, this thing is approximately 22 inches in overall length with a 16 to 16 and a quarter inch blade. And you can see some of the... Um, wear marks from the actual usage footage but the great thing about that is I mean look at that there's, there's no edge damage to this thing at all and it was having to hammer down on that mesquite like I mean like it was angry it was crazy but um I'm gonna be rolling through some good footage for you guys but I like this considering the size and just magnitude of how big this blade is it's not heavy at all but uh, James Helm has a philosophy that he's shared with me many times is he doesn't like to make a tool heavier than it has to be and I think that is incredibly nice because some people when they try to go tough and robust and overbuilt they just go absolutely freaking crazy and they make like a 3 8 inch thick stick sp spine on it and it's just ridiculous but uh so we're gonna cut a couple clips and we're gonna go outside and then we'll come back to the tabletop for our final thoughts So uh, check this out, this is the nice spring temper that he puts on these blades. These things can take a lot of abuse and stress without actually breaking. Which is extremely important when you're using something like a bush sword or a machete. Yeah, it will kill. Now, why I have this on um, a continuous shot, what I'm gonna do is, oh, look how clean that thing was slicing. Woo, that was beautiful. Now, what I wanna do, if James will let me, is I'm gonna take the bush sword in one continuous shot and we're gonna go check the edge on it, actually, so you guys can see how well these blades hold up. Look at that. No edge deformation, rolling, no chipping, nothing. Just wood and resin from the really hard mesquite wood. Well, <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed that test footage. As much fun as I had actually watching him wail on that big, huge slab of mesquite. That is some seriously thick, hard seasoned wood. I have had just tremendous trouble trying to baton through just pieces of that with knives that are production knives that are praised 
such as the SCHF 3043, uh, the Jet War, better known as Jessica X, and a few other blades that I would consider a little bit more suited for the really, really rough tasks. And that thing just beat right through it like it wasn't even there. However, this video doesn't need to be any longer um, than this. It was pretty straightforward. You guys got to see the making of it, and now you got to see some nice gratuitous uh, death chopping from the mesquite tree on this bad boy, and you saw how just durable and tough this thing is and if you like this video definitely throw a big thumbs up to this and share this out with all your friends and family to social media networks and also if you want to go get in touch with james helm and try to see if you can get an order i'll definitely post a link to all of his websites and social media accounts in the description box below but that just about does it for now i hope you guys have an absolute wonderful day i'm out